so we're going to start with the meal plan. Um, I am using, as usual, my Carrie L meal planner. I have like four pages left or three after this one, and I will be doing the digital copy for after that. So I'll show you what I end up, well, you guys will see um, what I end up with. I'll show you the digital copy that I'm downloading. And um, I will always have, I always have a link down below to Carrie's website where she has these bound things. She also has budget planners. She has a ton of different type of planners, um, but she has everything on digital version too. So I will be switching to the digital version and, um, but I'll show you what I end up putting together for that. So my meal plan, I have a rollover meal. I didn't make the Salisbury steaks last week and mainly because I did not make them during meal prep. This week, no matter what I'm doing, for meal prep day, I'm going to just make these Salisbury steaks. It'll help that I think I plan on having these Sunday night. I don't have these in any particular order, by the way, um, but I'm pretty sure I will have these Sunday night, so I will be making those for sure during meal prep, and I'm just gonna pair that with a cauliflower mash. Um, another day I'm gonna be doing Mississippi chicken. I got this recipe out of um, Keto Ginja's new e cookbook. So I will have a link to her cookbook down below so you guys can purchase that and see that recipe for yourself, but it's Mississippi chicken and it's in a crock pot. Um, and I'll just pair that with a salad. Another crock pot meal that I really don't have a recipe for. I'm actually just going to kind of wing it, but it's going to be a creamy chicken and cauliflower rice crock pot or instant pot. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. I'm going to put broccoli in there. It's going to be cheesy. I don't know. I'm just, I really felt like kind of being creative and trying something different. So um, yeah, that actually may be Sunday because I have more time to make those things Sunday, but I'll be making these that way they're ahead of time. But um, yeah, um, I'll, it's an, I'll film it for you guys so you guys see what I finally end up with, but I don't have a recipe to link for that because um, yeah, I really don't have one. And this, I'll, I'll have two recipes that I'm working off of to make this, so I'll link both of those down below. I'm also gonna do a puff buffalo chicken pizza. This is on the fathead dough. I do have a link to the recipe that I'll be kind of little bit basing that off of. Gonna do breakfast for dinner because that's always an easy thing to do. Then I always have at least two leftover nights. Some nights we get, you know, we do take out on Fridays, but I usually try to also have a leftover night in there. For lunches this week, I'm gonna do two different meal prep bowls. So I'm gonna do one that's just gonna have some sausages. You'll see which ones I picked up. And then I thought I would do like a cheesy broccoli cauliflower side dish with that sausage. And then the other one, I have some stew meat in the freezer that I need to use up. So I kind of have a, I want to make steak bites, but normally steak bites are like cooked in butter and garlic and they're you know kind of crispy on the outside. With stew meat, it's kind of hard to do that because it's so tough. So I have a couple ideas that I'm thinking, thinking maybe of putting those into the pressure cooker first to get them tender and then searing them off in a skillet with some garlic and butter. But you'll see that because I'm gonna make those and then I'll have some green beans and some cauliflower mash. My plan is to make the cauliflower mash and then I'll make enough to be able to have with dinner with the Salisbury steaks. So those will be my lunches this week. I don't have any breakfast on here because next week I plan on fasting and so I don't think I'll need any breakfast stuff. Um, meal prep. Um, I'll do those two different meal prep bowls, which has quite a few components in there. The Salisbury steaks, and I'm gonna cook my fathead dough crust ahead of time. So that way the night that I have them for dinner, I will have those done. I'm gonna try to make some extras possibly and throw them in the freezer. So that's the meal plan. Let's go right into the grocery haul. Walmart this week. So everything is from Walmart with the exception of a couple things that I got at grocery outlet during the week, which if you guys see my daily vlogs, you already saw it, but I'll show those to you anyway. I plan on doing some baking this weekend. I wanna pre-film for some Christmas videos that'll be coming out in December. So I have like two for sure that I wanna do that um, I needed some baking stuff. So I bought some organic coconut flour. I got this at Grocery Outlet. It was $1.96 for this big bag, which is 1.1 pounds. Um, until I can get to Costco, which won't be until next weekend, I picked up another, um, the monk fruit sweetener at Grocery Outlet. It's only $5.99 there, which is cheaper than going to the regular store, but Costco has the big bags for $8.99. Usually, sometimes my Costco doesn't have them. I picked up two more. I haven't used the other two that I bought at Walmart a couple weeks ago, but I, I knew one of them I need a full bag. And so I picked up one more of the semi-sweet and then they had the dark chocolate. So I picked up one of the dark chocolate. Actually, now I think about it, I think I picked up the dark chocolate and the semi-sweet last time and not the white chocolate. Oh, because I need the white chocolate, but I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, 
Um, these are just for upcoming baking videos you will be seeing. Parchment paper, same thing, I needed some for that. Okay, so butter, I just picked up some butter for various things. I needed um, a pretty big one of these for one of the recipes, I can't remember which one. Um, but anyway, so I got Colby Jack that I'll shred up on meal prep day. Monterey Jack that I'll also shred up on meal prep day. On a budget this week, and so I picked up the cheap eggs and so I picked up an 18 count and a 12 count of just the Walmart brand eggs. I like to get the better ones, you guys know, but when we're on a budget, we're on a budget. And that's what's so great about keto is that you can do things on a budget. Um, picked up some sour cream, so I have that on hand. Um, one of the recipes asked for a full thing of cream cheese. And plus, I think I might use cream cheese in that cheesy chicken and cauliflower rice thing. I'm not sure yet, so I just wanted to make sure I had enough cream cheese on hand. Tomatoes, those actually should be on the produce side. Uh, got the Frank's Red Hot Sauce for the Buffalo Chicken Pizza. Oh, this was another item I got at Grocery Outlet. This is a Primal Kitchen Spicy Ketchup Organic Unsweetened. I think it's two carbs for two, for one tablespoon. The pepperoncinis are for the Mississippi Chicken. Beef broth is for the Salisbury steak. I ended up using that for something else, and so I had to pick up some more. I just, I love pickles, so I picked up some kosher dill pickles. My bang energy drinks. The ranch packet is for the Mississippi chicken. I'm out of my ranch seasoning mixes that I normally make my own, but I don't, I know, I knew I was not gonna have time this weekend with the extra cooking and filming I wanted to do, so I just opted to take the shortcuts. So this is for that Mississippi chicken. Picked up a couple of water enhancers, the strawberry and cream, and the orange blast. Half and half for my coffee. Again, I just opted for the cheaper whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. I like to get the Umqua Dairy typically because it has no fillers, no added anything in there, no carrageenan and none of that, but I just couldn't afford it this week. It's like $2.98 and this is only $1.98. So the dollar makes up, you guys, the dollars add up. <laughs> And um, this will be, these are the sausages I'll be using for those meal prep. I'll probably have two sausages per um, meal prep. These are one carb each. And then ground beef. This will be for the Salisbury steak. I have a ton of ground beef in the freezer though for the rest of the meals for the family because I'm making quite a few meals that take ground beef. And then I have the boneless, skinless chicken breast. This will be for the Mississippi chicken. For those of you who know, I only make two meals on the days that I have chicken because my husband is allergic to chicken. So that's why I make two meals. Otherwise, my family eats the same thing that I eat for dinner. I think the rest is produce besides bacon because, you know, as you know, I pick up at least one thing of bacon every week. I only went through one last week out of the two. So I just picked up one. Got some spinach and spring mix for salads. These will be the green beans that I'll be using for my meal prep. I picked up a cauliflower to go with my meal prep. I already have broccoli in the freezer, so I did not need broccoli, so I just needed a cauliflower. For another recipe I'm doing that's not Christmas related, but I wanted to try out some of those noodles from that noodles brand. And so um, I'm gonna be making an Asian salad. And so I have some, and you'll probably, if, if it all works out okay, if I have time and everything and it works out okay, you guys will be seeing that video tomorrow. So I need some cabbage for that avocados and then these are also for that same recipe the cilantro the green onions and the uh, matchstick carrots are also for that asian salad and then cucumbers i love to snack on cucumbers so i picked up some cucumbers and that's everything you guys so thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video if you're not subscribed would you please take a moment to do so if you enjoy seeing what you see also please give this video a thumbs up if you like grocery hauls and I will see you guys in a couple of days for meal prep and all next week for weekly daily whatever daily keto vlogs I will talk to you guys then bye guys